in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Uh. Oh, this sorry, was not I'm my idea. It was Francesca's. No. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the SNL After Show here at AfterBuzz TV. Guys, we have uh, we have some sad news and some good news. Sad news is we're missing Roy and Keaton, but the good news is we found some. I think, us off, off the street. I think capable <laughs> replacements. Yeah, they were just hanging yeah. out on the corner, big dope, dealing money. Yeah, with Michael, who rides hey. Michael. Uh, <laughs> my name is Danny Hoyt. I'll be your host this evening, but I'm not the only host. I have three friends with me. Well, okay. Can you introduce your ratings? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Kelly McInerney. Hey. Hey, Francesca. What's up? I'm Sterling. What are your street names? K-Dog. Uh, <laughs> hey, dog K- Francesca? Uh, Bobby just called me Franklin Dugan Roosevelt That's today. not a oh, street that's name. That's a good one. And Sterling? Um, Stir Fry. Stir Fry. I have zero. I was called U-Haul one time. It was the only nickname I ever had in my life because I took a U-Haul to college for all my stuff. I took way too much well, stuff. Well, just roll with it. Only nickname ever? All right. Roll U-Haul with it. Is. No pun intended. Roll with it. Guys, roll, I'm pretty roll, excited about this. Uh, I'm a fan of James Franco's humor. Yeah, me too. And I so love I was him. really, I was excited about this. I love Nicki Minaj. She's got an album dropping next love week. Nicki so Minaj. I was very excited about this episode. Mm-hmm. And I think it lived and up it's to the, the hype. second highest rated one this season. Oh, look at right you dropping up. Who well, is this girl that, who pulled off the street I saw with that knowledge? On Twitter. <laughs> on the Twitter sphere? Um, yeah, right what behind was the first one? Uh, Prince and who hosted that week? Prince and Chris Rock? Yeah, but let yeah, me just say that about was, Prince. Uh, Prince rolled in there with three with sunglasses with three yeah. lenses. I was hoping Nikki. Well, she kind of one upped him with a thong. I mean, she, okay, Nikki looked were fabulous. Hot. Yeah. All right, yeah. we'll I get off of that. Let's yeah. let's start at the top. Uh, we're gonna go through this chronological order. So if you're following along, you guys can tweet us. You can call in. You can live chat. Uh, we appreciate. That oh thanks Joseph Boza's already calling us out on the live chat. I love and Joseph ways, Boza. Of, thanks for watching, guys. We love when you communicate with us, uh, whether it's during the show, after the show. <laughs> we do this for you guys, so thanks for hanging out with us. Let's start with the cold open. Not the, the cold open, right? We they always do a politics related mm-hmm. thing. Always. This one was one of my favorites of the Agreed. season. Agreed. Why? Because it was funny, and <laughs> the uh, the past ones haven't been that funny. Or and even though it was a serious subject, it wasn't about that. It was just right. about him being silly, <laughs> not right. pronouncing things. And interrupting everyone. Yeah. Right. Yes. That was hilarious. Just he was like, Thank you for your insight. And then <laughs> I was like, wait, that. I didn't even Dubois, say anything. excuse me. Dubious. <laughs> My favorite that what was, was the other one. Twatted. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Too tiered. <laughs> uh, his Al Sharpton is always on point, and I realize they have to do the political thing to kind of pull in some of that older demographic. Uh, but this, for me, I agree with you, Kelly. Yeah. Was would it bridged the gap of comedy and politics the best of the season so far? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, it was like I think it was the best episode so far, in my opinion. Hey, it was whoa, she's coming out with the big. But guns. I love anything James Franco does. So I was, biased. She's biased. I was <laughs> interested to see how they were going to address everything that's going on because yeah. it is still so fresh, especially in New York. Mm-hmm. So it's only been a few days, but I think they did it really tastefully yeah. and yeah. not too joking. I thought that the best, they, they did the best when it came to Weekend Update. Right, yeah. 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 It was serious for a second on Weekend Update, which is weird because that's never, it's never serious. Well, yeah, people didn't but. know how, if they should laugh or not. It was kind of like when Chris Rock did his stand-up on that episode when he started talking about 9-11 and people were like, uh, is this allowed to be funny yet? Right. Yeah. And it's well, a decade and Bo- later. Didn't he do something about the Boston He did something about the Boston some, Marathon. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it, people weren't sure. I think it was similar situation, but they skirted it. They didn't. Uh, they skirted it enough that it was safe, but they also gave a couple jabs. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll get there. Uh, and but- Chris Rock's more aggressive, I feel like. They're not. Does that make, you know, right. he's, with his humor, he's more he aggressive. Yeah. Edgy. Yeah. So uh, so you guys all like the, the, like the opening. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Mm. And it, we're, you know, we're halfway through. We're pretty much halfway through the season. Potentially Keenan's last season. So I appreciate any time Keenan oh, gets to do so the sad. live from New York at Saturday night. And he mm. looks like he loves it. Yeah. He mm-hmm. does. You know what? I can never not look at him, though, and think of him in the bathtub 
as a uh, uh, Pierre, Pierre Escargot. Escargot. Really? Yeah. 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 Every, so, um, yeah. I saw an article actually recently talking about Kel. Where is Kel now? Yeah, where is he? He and does he, stand up sometimes. He does stand up sometimes. Yeah. And he said he'd be open to doing a Keenan and Kel, Keenan and Kel reunion, which I awesome. think would get huge views among our demographic. You think yeah. it'd be kind of like the Kaylee and Pele? I, I never say, I don't know if I'm pronouncing Keely it. Keely and Peele. 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 Well, I follow him on Instagram, so I like to think I keep, you know, no, updated. Wait, did he ever direct message you? No. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't bring it up. I tried to, I tried to, to t- send him a picture of him and me because I met him after of mice and men and been like, I said, hey, I'm over 21. <laughs> you said that? And you never responded? Response. Never responded. Wow, wow. Did you he know? at least le- read it? Open I don't it? think he did. No. Well, I love that he brought it up, though. Yeah, and and has opened. I mean, but he yeah. Instagrammed. He shaved his head and he put like a fake tattoo a few months back uh, when he was directing. I think he directed a film. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I love that you actually went for that though. That's yeah, ballsy. that's awesome. Why did you he, meet James Franco? He just happened to be there. He signed autographs after of Mice and Men. I went to see it in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the same place Jersey. he met the other girl that he answered. Of Mice and Men, the band, That's or Mice and Men, the musical? Bra- the musical. The, okay. Not the musical. It was just it's bad a timing. It's not a musical. It's a, it's a serious <laughs> thing. If it was, any other, positive, if it was any other time, he would have messaged you back. It was right after. Yeah. But I was like, hey, he likes blondes, because she was blonde, and I'm over 21. I'm open to it. He's done everything. Maybe he just me. doesn't like you yet. because you're except over 21. <laughs> can I do a little test real quick? I want to make sure I can distinguish your guys' voices. I'm going to close my eyes. I don't want each of you to say something, and I want to see if I can get it. I just want to know if I can, because I want to know if the viewers can. We might need to space out our talking. Really? Well, I just want to make sure. Somebody talk. I like burritos. <laughs> That's Francesca, because I know you like burritos. All right, somebody else talk. This Boy. dude named Michael used to That's rap. Sterling, because I know she can't rap. <laughs> That's the only line I know. And from Kelly's the on his line. Yeah. All right, got it. All right. Okay, just to make sure. Um, let's, let's talk about this, because it was a huge deal that Sony got shut down this week. Yeah. Uh, shut down in a sense. It wasn't all the way shut down, but hacked enough that some mm. movies that aren't even out yet were released, uh, including movies that haven't been able to be purchased yet, like Fury. That uh, was a big deal. So it was it was popular in the news, and they took it, uh, I think, and they did really well with it, I think, releasing the fake photos. I thought that was funny. It was topical. Yeah. It was funny. And uh, bringing in the idea at the end that uh, his Instagram was hacked, I thought right. was really clever. Yeah. yeah. I like that Seth Rogen joined. Mm-hmm. I love him. I, and I, every time, like, Seth Rogen's naked, it's always funny. It's great. Right. You know? Yeah. So that's what Does it good. happen often? Yeah. Well, kind of. Remember them on the Bound... Uh, Spoof, the, yeah, they the did. Video. Oh, yeah. yes, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's very really... comfortable with his back. Okay, ladies, I want yeah. I want to know your opinion. Would you prefer to see Seth Rogen naked or James Franco? James Franco. I mean, do you I'll, have to ask. Yeah, me? seriously. But do, do, do we want to laugh, Seth Rogen? Do we want to yeah. like enjoy what we're seeing, James Franco? Is James Franco that attractive of a man? He's, he's pretty cute, cute, but there's a th- weird thing with his eyes. I can't get past. And okay. he's a genius. <laughs> like he does everything, but. Like I think his his email is a lie because he's not as cute as Dave Franco because his younger brother is yeah Dave Franco is well, really attractive. I was he's really cute. I was just thinking about um, Seth and and his brother in um, the movie where he's a frat boy and Seth lives next Neighbors. door. Neighbors. Neighbors. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic movie. There was something else I was gonna say, but I forgot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> so so, wait, think so of if it. we throw Dave Franco into the mix, still, who would you rather see naked? Dave Franco. I probably have a better chance with Dave than... I'm going to go with Nicki Minaj. Uh, <laughs> so do you think, and I'm gonna just going to ask this, true or false, was James Franco high? Oh, There's he doesn't people do talking drugs. About it. Really? Yeah, he always adamantly denies never doing drugs. Yeah, of course he says that. He doesn't sleep. That's his problem. Because he does so much stuff. You really what believe he does it? That he hosted? Yes. I, I see. It? I feel like I've heard the opposite. That him and Seth always do. No. What was the award show that he hosted? The 
Oscars. He, he the Oscars. Oscars with Anne Hathaway. Yeah, but that yeah, he, he was definitely high then. Yeah, he said he was. He yeah. came out and said afterwards. No, he, he didn't. Was. Yes, he did. Uh uh-uh. uh. But I he seems. Oh, he's... we have our first heated debate of the night. <laughs> Can we get like some cool sound effect to mark this? <gasps> pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> something yeah, just I do like it yours yourself. you can just do it yourself <laughs> just do it ooh the live crowd seems kinda, to love the debate yeah I kinda like the gun noise. <laughs> 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 I was trying to do my high pitch like <laughs> the, the Anthony the Crispino guy, from yeah, me yeah. I can't get that high I lost my I've been <laughs> it's been yeah, a long day for me uh, alright well let's move on to the next sketch because this is also topical the Peter Pan live what did you guys think of this sketch well you know what I didn't see the I didn't I see it either. But, I was yeah. in San Antonio this weekend. Yeah, I well, watched, everything I read about it, it seemed pretty spot on with yeah. what people were tweeting. Yeah, I watched like ten minutes and got bored of it. Really? So wait, tell me really what people boring. were tweeting or like what? Yeah, fill people us in. were making fun of Christopher Walken and basically, like they said in the skit, that he was just saying random yeah. lines, like wasn't really participating, <laughs> and the people behind him were carrying all the weight, is what they were saying, mm-hmm. doing all the singing. Okay, and dancing, so that's and why the guys said. So that's why he said that. We like yeah. to dance and sing. Well, you yeah. basically just say lines. Yeah, or whatever that's exactly what. Okay. And then the other thing people were talking about is how they always get a girl to play Peter Pan, and they obviously address that here, uh, too. Yeah. And a lot of tweets were like, they'd still do Allison Williams, even though she looked like a boy. Uh, that's some <laughs> of my friends. I yeah. mean, hey. I'm a fan but, of Allison Williams. No, yeah, I'm a fan but, of that whole family. Did you guys see Brian, her dad, on Jimmy Fallon? No. When they slow jammed the news, and it ended with Brian Williams giving a shout-out to his daughter. She's like, He's like, he said something like, I'm going to see her fly on Thursday night. Oh, yeah. It was like a shout out. It was really cool. I, I just appreciate that family. I think they're talented. Proud dad. People. Proud papa. Proud papa. Uh, I think the 80 Bryant always kills. This is, I believe, mm-hmm. only the second time she's done this this half mosquito, half fly character. Yeah. Is this correct? That's how I don't Tonker Bell. Bell. On my ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Tonker love Bell. her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, I think she does that really well. I kind of like that that little uh, rebellious side that she has mm-hmm. in which she gets a little bit of like the ghetto rebellion. Yeah. It's one of my favorite characters she does and so I think she nails it. I actually thought James Franco's Christopher Walken wasn't bad. I, I thought it was pretty yeah, good. Was he pre- didn't overdo it. Yeah, but commitment, I, man. I didn't see the yeah. Peter Pan, so I didn't even realize that Christopher Walken was in it. Right. And the first time I saw the skit, I was like, "Wait, he kind of sounds like Christopher Walken." Then I realized well, that that's he was when you know meaning when, to yeah. sound like yeah. Christopher Walken. So here we are. That's yeah, making a lot <laughs> more sense mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. I liked when they kept asking questions. He was like, yeah. "No, <laughs> yeah, no, more Galba, no." <laughs> um, that was good. What would you guys? Let's rate it. What would you? Thanks. What would you guys rate it? I would say like... You have an A plus to an F. F minus if you want to get creative. Um, I would say C? like a C or a D. One, I have one at a time. C? Sorry, my bad. I gave okay. it a B because I laughed a lot at 80 and because and James is in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say that I thought Cecily overacted a little bit. I wasn't a big fan of Cecily. She always does. Let's, no, let's I disagree. And I'll tell you why. When we get to the troll All sketch. Right. But I thought Cecily overacted. I like the singing of the song. I didn't think the girls thing was necessary. We already know it's Allison Williams. Like that's what they're playing. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a little overdone. That just that part. I didn't like that one joke about her being like a boy all the time. Like, yeah. oh, I'm so I'm from girls, but but I love Tonker Bell and um, yeah, James Franco. Yeah, Tonker Bell was my favorite. I Other liked than that, Cecily. I, I like, thought eh. she was funny. Uh, well, people are chiming in on the chat roll and uh, saying that they feel like Tinkerbell or Tonkerbell saved the sketch. It did. Mm-hmm. She, yeah. she totally did. Yeah, she was hilarious. And, and EDM, I'm like, yes. EDM says he gives it an S. I don't know what the S stands for. And people That's are just it a all the way down in the alphabet. Joseph Boza gave it's it a D. I like the, the super. And S for super. Oh. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, wait, I like the Fern Gully thing, too, because that was yeah, kind of fu- random and funny. That yeah. was cute. Well, I like her popcorn because... I want a big popcorn like that. <laughs> we need that some of that funny. after this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I give it. I give it a C. It was okay for me. Uh, Star Wars. Let's move on to this. There, ca- I felt like there was so much content out there for yeah. them to talk about and make fun of and parody. So I thought this was really good because that was yeah. such a big deal. This new trailer for Star right. Wars is coming yeah. out. I, I, well, I overall, I thought, I don't know it. They had a lot of good punches, but the skit overall was kind of like, eh. Yeah, for me, I was like, womp, womp. I didn't really laugh It at took all. about a minute into it before you realized right. what yeah. they were parodying. That's how I felt about the trailer, kind of, too. See, I didn't even watch the trailer. Yeah, but I love Taron Killam's Han Solo impression. (laughs) Like, his Harrison Ford was really good. (laughs) It was good. Yeah. I enjoyed that. So you guys rate this uh, this Star Wars sketch what? I would say, like, a C as well. Okay. Yeah. C minus. 
I, it, I mean, like I said, they had some pretty funny things. Like when they were flying and he had his blinker on. Okay, go around, yeah. go around. Because people do that. I don't know, it's funny. I thought the most clever thing, and I can't take credit for this because I didn't think of this, but the Luke Skywalker using an actual walker. walker. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was the funniest part. It was kind of an underplayed joke that I thought was probably the mm-hmm. most funny about it. So um, let's move on to the next one because this was, I know we're flying through these, but I want to make sure we have time to talk about the big things that happen later yeah. on. Jingle ballers. That, that was really funny. Best. A++. Why? What's the first thing you think of when you think of jingle ballers? The Kanye. Ka- yeah, the Kanye performance Baby was Jesus. really great. See, I I liked I love sketches like this because I love to see them do impressions, mm-hmm. but yep. I feel like there's not much jokes to them. It's just you see who's awesome and who's not. Like True. Sashir's Rihanna was not good. I didn't the least that impressive yeah. out of the impressions. Yeah. Right. And she did the most, you know. You Except know. for what was the line? About the she three. had some good. Oh, the three wise men. Yeah, like, yeah. she that does that good. part well. Yeah, <laughs> she practiced that. How was mine? That's better. That's pretty like, good. Better yeah. than Sashir's. No, she. I gotta give no, it to not her. Quite. Mm. The three wise men come to see the baby Jesus. Yeah. Okay. I mean, she had she had some good she she hit some good accents for sure, for sure. And then Bieber, man. Yeah. The, okay. So, the Bieber one was on point. Kate She's McKinnon's Bieber good. is always on point. Yeah. I wish she could do that every episode because I laugh. It's, it's fantastic. just the poses. When at first I thought it was really him at first. I was yeah. like, wait, he's on the air. I was very confused. So good. Yeah. And good. Eminem too. I thought was pretty good. Yeah. 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 Eminem. Yeah. They were. I mean, they were pretty all. They were pretty spot on. Most but of them. I thought Nicki Minaj did an okay Beyonce. She sounded like Nicki Minaj. Well, obviously the jokes. To be the jokes were written for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I thought she committed and, and did them well. She, she didn't yeah. try to overdo it. I feel like she didn't try to be Beyonce that much. But then again, it's kind of hard to do a Beyonce impression because she doesn't really have a certain type of voice. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of. Uh, this one I I liked out of her and the other what was the other one that she the did Kim Kardashian yeah, yeah. this yeah. one was better because at least she kind of had the tone of Beyonce like she Ooh. knew when to pause and she did the hair she did the hair flip yeah yeah so I'm okay with it okay okay I'll give you that mm-hmm. I thought uh, actually James Franco's riff raff was funny and the thing that I liked about it, here's why he I liked it like him. Do you guys know, well, <laughs> he looks like what was that movie he just Spring Breakers, Spring Breakers. yeah and he, he was, was what was like his that? name in the movie. Alien. Alien, right. It's like the same, It's like three characters, and they're all the same thing. Yeah. Um, but I actually thought that was really funny, and the whole Rick Ross, Eminem, James Franco has Riff Raff bit. I liked that. Just, yeah, but the Kanye part stole the show. Oh, well, well Jay Farrow nails yes. it. So okay. here's my thing. I like Jay Farrow's Kanye impression, but I never liked when they did the Kim Kardashian and Kanye morning show. When they oh, right, talk. yeah, yeah. I, I like wasn't that. a big fan of that. So I think he's fantastic at impressions, but I wanted to be used properly. Mm-hmm. This was an example of me... Uh, I was most happy that they used it properly. So here's the thing. It was already a funny sketch, but I like, and I talked about this before, I like when they take it to the next level. It has to have somewhere to go. We didn't see that coming with the baby Jesus no. and Jesus until she said, and she enunciated like Jesus, and then he's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And My dad is God, and I'm yes. God. <laughs> and then the, so the thing is, it was another level when he popped out. You're like, oh my God, Jesus, like this is funny. Mm-hmm. And then the rap was actually yeah, good. It was yeah. good. He's like, yeah. I'm a God. My dad's a God. Blah, blah, blah. And that's complicated, but that ain't bad. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that the fact that they progressed it to other levels that you didn't see coming was, it was well executed. It was planned. It was written well. That was my favorite sketch of the night. In a while, actually. So I give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, I gave it a, a, plus, a, a plus B minus. Sure. What? Yeah. What? Just because I didn't think it was written well, but I thought, you know, you saw who was good and who was bad. Perfor- yeah, I just, what I said. What I said. Well, what okay. I said. Well, we're entitled to our own opinion. Are we on to, are we on to <laughs> the next one? Is uh, Michael Bryan's short? Mm hmm. Here's the thing, and who mentioned Ooh. this? That Michael Bryan, we haven't seen a lot of him lately. Yeah, because he got—he's just a writer now. I yeah, thought. No, not just a writer. He's still—he's still a. No, uh, he's not featured anymore. Yeah, Mm-mm. he's not at all. No. Mm-mm. So only when he does digital shorts. Yeah. I didn't watch. I—I I have to be honest. I fast forwarded through the beginning. Yeah. So they took him out of being featured. This whole season, I don't think he's featured. Yeah, I think anymore. this season he's a writer. I thought I saw him in his, at one point. Mm, last oh, one. well. There okay. we go. But he's still writing flawlessly. Good thing he picked us up off the street to inform you. Jeez, <laughs> I gotta patrol that corner more Especially the stir. What? Huh? Huh? Come again? Burritos? Anyway, Mike Grow O'Brien. a guy? <laughs> you a grow a girl. <laughs> <laughs> if we had live sound effects and like could actually do that yeah. sound effect right What off, color goo awesome. would you be? Ooh. Turquoise. Black. I'd be yellow. Green? Green. Yeah. Okay. This is awkward. Did we get some chick. Tweet us what color goo you guys would be. Well, because when the girl, when the girl, ex- one of the girls exploded, hers was purple. Oh. But oh, I, I, I didn't notice. notice. That. Yeah. <laughs> I was very intrigued by the goo. <laughs> she likes, she likes goo. I get it. All right. I'm glad I know that about you guys. Yeah. Good to know. But I, I, I like how you didn't expect everyone else to be. 
a grow up person. Yes, it was, it was exactly. It was a little. I keep blinking out on words today. Mm. It was well, nice. it was unexpected, and that's what I was <laughs> talking about. It's a level. It's a place for it to go. Is which what is I is which is what I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate. It reminded me a little of um, when they were showing James Franco in his bedroom of Encino Man. Yeah. When he like he was like learning like human things. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Me, and he was like trying to bite the beer. It reminded me a little bit yeah. of Cena Man. But you guys like the sketch? Yeah, it was Did okay. You, yeah. I think my yeah. favorite part was James Franco when uh they were like, Can you talk? Yeah, and he was then. like, I am <laughs> <laughs> the, Yeah, man. I was like, Oh crap. <laughs> that was my favorite too, yeah. It was pretty good. Okay, so what are you guys rating it? I'm gonna go with a B. I gave it a C. People online gave it a C plus. Sterling? I'm gonna go C plus. Mm, that's a little low. I felt like it was funny. I don't know. I like. I thought it was funny, but at the beginning when he's um was talking to him, like, do you not have any friends? Like, blah blah. I actually felt really bad for him. Aww, I, was, I was like, this is really depressing. Like, I don't. Taron Killam plays. I mean, uh, not Taron Killam. Uh, Beck Bennett plays a dick really well. Yeah, he's a very, he does. He's a very felt, good dick. I don't know. I just felt. He's a bit, I don't know if I would ever repeat that ever again if I were you. Somebody's gonna <laughs> gif it. It'll be on the internet tomorrow. But I think I, I I'm gonna think do it if they don't. Ben, ben, it's a very he's a very good dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, I hear first. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next sketch, the troll bridge. Here's an example. And this is what I referenced earlier. I appreciate Cecily overacting. Yes. Because I love this accent. I've never seen this character. Awesome. I've never even heard this made up accent. And I thought it was funny. Yeah, it was really funny. Throughout. The was okay. C-U-N I Thursday. Uh, I like that. I like that part. The C U N T Thursday. Yeah. C U N Thursday. I had it. <laughs> I didn't get it until the second time. Yeah. She's like, C U N Thursday. I didn't get it until you guys said it. No, you like, said uh, it. And I was like, I know. You didn't know. No, I did, but I was texting when you said it. But I've already seen it before. <laughs> Who were you texting? I don't remember. I can look if you want me. All right. She was Instagram DMing James Franco. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Were you calling with see you in Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Yep. Nope. Anyways, battle. Battle. <laughs> Kelly, why didn't you, why weren't you the biggest fan of the sketch? I don't know. I didn't think it was that funny at first. Like, um, I, I towards the end when she kind of got into her, like, her boyfriend and stuff, I thought that was funny. But at first you're like, who are they dating? Or, like, what's the point of her? And she was just rambling about, you know, oh, no, he doesn't do that. He just kisses. <laughs> and I just wanted to be like, who it was are a little, you? Like, it was a little obscure. I, yeah. wanted, I wanted it to have a little more of a destination mm -hmm. for the comedy to go, besides the fact that they just made out and that they literally made out twice. Yeah. My favorite part is when uh, James Franco says, well, it's official, I'm a bisexual now. <laughs> because there's been so many like rumors out there that he's gay and bisexual and all this stuff, so it's funny that he's saying that. So you think that, that was the point of it? I thought it was because it's like he's in on the joke. You know what I mean? Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Or maybe he just wanted to make out with someone on a bridge. I, mm -hmm. I, was, I was thrown off, though, when the guy left with the girl. I thought he was gonna be like, oh my god, I'm actually gay, and like, cause they're not and like run after him or something. Yeah, like that. and leave, and maybe Kyle would turn around. Yeah. Did you guys notice at the end it cut to a blank scene of a forest? I thought yeah. there was gonna be another part to it, cause I was kind of hoping for something else to happen and nothing did. Same as you, I thought maybe there would be a level there yeah. where he would like decide not to cross the bridge and maybe go live under the bridge with. And what was with the sparkles when they kissed? Like the magic. Well, that's why I was saying that's like I thought they were gonna when be you like are in love with someone and you can't. Or maybe trolls. <laughs> or maybe they were high when they wrote it. Like I just, yeah. Pineapple Express. It reminded me of on the Halloween episode when they had the faces in the trees and they went into the. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Do you guys? Did you guys see the Halloween episode? It's all right. You're probably on the street. Uh, when they were. <laughs> I don't have to be on the street. Before he picked us up. <laughs> uh, but they were going through like the forest, and there were faces inside of the trees. It kind of reminded me of that. The same same thing though. There was like a riddle, and it didn't all the way Hit compute. All, yeah. Yeah. Do not kind compute. Of. All right. Well. <laughs> Wait, uh, thank you. I, I, I think that was my second favorite skit of the night, though. Seriously? Oh. All right. Or like second or third. It was up there. It was in the top ones for me. Yeah, I just don't. I mean, guys, the guys making out will always be semi funny, but it's not as funny as it used to be. Mm hmm. Oh. Because they kind of mm -hmm. kill it a lot, especially with that family that always makes out with each other. Yeah, it's they kind of knew been what done. they what the people like, and they just kind of right. Or they have the, the last death. call sketch at the end where they awkwardly. It's not guys. It's a guy and a girl, but it's where it's yeah. always an awkward makeup. Kate McKinnon. Yeah. Um, so we're on to Nicki Minaj song one, yeah? Yeah, I Woo! loved it. You guys love Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I didn't have the strong opinion of it. I love that song. Wait, was this only the bed one? No, that this is a Skylar Gray one. Yeah. yeah. Who sounds, by the way, 
like Melissa Etheridge. Mm. Yeah, with the little breathy end note. Yeah, I said she this does, she Yeah, she does have I'd do it, but I would sound Just nothing do it. Like Just it. do it. Try, like, try like, it. I don't remember. What's the line from the song? I'll sing it. Um, What's the line that she ends on? I was singing it earlier. Bed of lies? Yeah, do you Bed of lies? Like, oh. whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very Melissa Etheridge. Uh, yeah, Bed of lies? Yeah. Lies? I can't. I've been all, I've been like, talking yeah. all since 6 a.m. this morning on a microphone, so my throat is a little done right now. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I thought when they opened, um, it was very pretty. It was a very different side of Skylar yeah. Grey that I haven't seen. It wasn't edgy. It wasn't like Eminem Skylar Grey. It was a, a very respectable. Yeah, she was very innocent. Like back there innocent. The yeah. I didn't even recognize that it was her at first. You thought it was Melissa Etheridge, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just really like, Here's who, a little is this? who is this lady? Who is this new lady? They pulled her off the street. It's a ah. new thing people are trying. Um, I loved, A, I loved the way Nicki Minaj looked. B, I liked her mm-hmm. presence. The way she stood there like, I don't need to move around and do all yeah. this. I'm just going to give you what I got. I kind of like that. It was like a subtle smack in the face in a good way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've always liked Nicki Minaj, but it's a recent discovery that I'm kind of obsessed with her. <laughs> so did you like her last album? Yes. Do you think you'll like this one more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I like this Drops one. This Tuesday. one seems more personal. What's the name of it again? Pink. Pink print. Print. Which is that, Panther, bit, is that a little bit? Is that a little bit of a knockoff of Jay Z's blueprint? He had the one, two, and three in blueprint. Maybe. Perhaps. I like how she does everything pink. Pink Friday. Pink. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Still. I liked how kind so. of raw it was, though. How she didn't need, like how you said it was just her, just rapping and rip like that, like that. Sterling, I'm gonna use your cell phone to demonstrate. I appreciate and kind of like what you, I agree with you when she would rap and she would just kind of like put it down to prove that she was live rapping. It wasn't a track, yeah. and that's really what her voice sounds like. Because she gets flack and people are like, "Well, she doesn't really sound like that. It's dubbed over. It's multiple voices. Mm-hmm. She sounds like that." So she would drop it down. And at one point, I actually thought she messed up. That's what, and they vined it. Somebody yeah. saying that she messed up, but she didn't. I think that was planned. Yeah, she I knows did. What she's yeah, doing. I thought that was planned too. Yeah, maybe it was. Weird. I don't know if it was. A, I thought maybe because or... I had to rewind. I thought it was a curse word. It wasn't. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. just put it down for no reason. Hmm. Maybe well, she had we emotional. thought no reason. I think she, yeah, it could be emotional. Mm-hmm. It could be. Yeah, I felt because I mean, was that was that in this first song or the last one? First, first one. Yeah. Okay. Both songs I felt were very kind of like touching the, f- like, emotional. So, I yeah, mean, it works. I just wanted yeah. Anaconda though. I just wanted some funness. Done. Well, who said who was saying that earlier that she's done Anaconda in like every award she, show? Yeah, she's done every that and the Bang Bang song. She's I feel like she's overdone. I don't it with watch songs. award shows. I watch just now. Yeah, <laughs> but I agree. It has been done. Google. A bit. And this builds this builds hype for two songs that are newer and yeah. less popular yeah. for uh, for next Tuesday. So yeah. good for her. Weekend update. <laughs> I uh, I knew that they would tackle this. Yes. Especially, and we've talked about this, you guys haven't been there since the beginning, but now that Michael Che is on, they can touch on a little more right. racially sensitive subjects. That's what I was going to say, yeah. And I thought that, uh, I was really interested to see how they approach this. Um, I loved the way they, they tackled it and the angles they took. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I thought they took something that was serious and gave it uh, light in a way that... It wasn't funny, but it was Sarcastic. respectable. Well, in, in a way, it was kind of fun. Like how they're, he's like, just get a better jury. And like I liked how Michael Che is like, no, I just keep asking because I can't believe it happened. Right. You know? Yeah, that was a good, that was the best open to a weekend update I've seen in a while. And what I thought this is going to, this is going to do a lot for the chemistry of Colin and Michael moving forward because we haven't seen them do a, a big extended thing like this in a while. Yeah. If at all. Have we seen one this extensive? I don't think so. Have we seen them talk to each other and they'll comment on each other's jokes but this was actually planned, rehearsed, you could tell. Mm-hmm. And I thought it, it showed us chemistry between them. It, sh- it crossed the racial bridge without making it whites versus blacks. It just brought it up. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The best line I thought though for me, my personal favorite and I want you guys to all say yours was the end when he said we should just turn it into negative film so the blacks are whites and uh, the whites are blacks and some then some finally some white people go to jail. Yeah, that yeah. was just kind of like Yep. No white person no, could say that. He could right. say it. And it wasn't a racially charged thing. It was clever. It was a little bit of a jab to what's going on uh, without, I don't know, offending anybody. It didn't offend me. No. Yeah, offend no. you guys? Mm-mm. No. No. Mm-mm. I mean, he had about eight solid jokes in there. What was your guys' favorite? I don't know. I just like how he's... With that same story? Yeah. I liked how they're like now. He's like now. I want to go to jury duty. Like I used yeah, to avoid see, it because of my sick kids who don't exist. Yeah. I thought the Staten Island part was pretty funny when he was <laughs> talking about how they still huddle together on a boat <laughs> to go to the city. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was probably the funniest part for me. I enjoyed the whole thing. I thought it was tasteful, but I wasn't laughing. You know, like hilarious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you could tell. You could hear the audience too. Wasn't like out loud laughing. Except one yeah. guy. One guy out loud, like way out loud laughed. Yeah, at a really oh, awkward part. It wasn't was a little, it? It was like it was like a transition. It was like when they went on the co- the um, close up on 
whatever. It was like one mm-hmm. awkward laugh. Yeah. And well, was... and the big thing, and I saw this written online as well, is that this will this will really set their hosting apart from other co-hosts that have hosted Weekend Update because they can do this yeah. and nobody else has been able to mm-hmm. to this level. Right. Because this is such a prevalent thing and race is such a prevalent thing in the news, I think it's good for SNL. It's going to take them uh, a step forward, I think, and put them in the forefront of news again in, mm-hmm. in that you know that niche of the news that they haven't really been in. Yeah. yeah. So I keep saying this, but this is my favorite like at update co-host for a while. Really? Well, that's because I didn't like Seth Meyers at all. Wow. Really? Yeah, I can't stand Seth Meyers. But I wow. just, I've never been excited for Weekend Update since like Amy and him. You know, Amy and Seth. Yeah. So, and Seth was on by himself for like six years or something. Oh, it wasn't that long, was it? I think so. Jeez, yeah. I didn't realize it was that long. I Amy and Seth was, was my favorite pair. Tina and Amy for the win. Well, yeah, they're well, they're gold no matter what they yeah, do. Yeah. But I think you gotta have a guy and a girl to be to be racially fair, and so I think they are missing a, a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah. uh, so, okay, so first guest Anthony Crispino. I would try to do the high pitch <laughs> note if I could, but I can't get that high. <laughs> <laughs> that probably hurts everyone. Can you do it? Ears it ears like? What is it again? The high pitch note when he's like. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's better than all of ours. I don't know. I like, we're like, what was he looking at? Well, he always like gets back and like looks to make sure nobody's watching. That was hilarious. Yeah. And the, I, the Bing Crosby joke. Best joke. Oh my God. And he looked there for a while. It's like, best joke. He's a rapist? He's a rapist. He's a rapist. Or Or whatever the kids are saying. (laughs) I'm not going to touch that one. Oh, Bing Crosby did. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And then we got Leslie Jones. You guys like Leslie Jones? That yeah. was pretty yes. funny. I think mm-hmm. she's hilarious. That was funny. Uh, a little bit. I, I like her consistent stabbing at, at Colin when she calls him like her peppermint patty and stuff yeah. like that. And I'll but put, it was, like, I'll, let me be the chocolate. <laughs> let me be the chocolate on your peppermint patty and all this stuff. Ooh. What? Ooh. <laughs> What's that? I'm just just doing the sound effects. Oh, can you? Pew 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 pew. pew. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one, uh, the overly full brain. Well, what are you guys gonna grade? Weekend update. That, it was one of my oh, favorites in a uh, while. Yeah, right? hey, uh, B plus. You've got about Kim as Nikki. By the oh way. Yeah. Yeah. Kim yeah, Kim as Kim as Nikki. It was basically just Nikki, Nikki Minaj Kim, yeah. talking yeah. about something. With, but also mm. with boobs and full force. Like Jeez. Nassim oh. killed it as Kim, so it's kind of yeah. hard to. But, but I do like that Nikki was in three sketches. Yeah, she yeah. tried. You know, I'm yeah. good. Good for her. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I, I'd say like A minus for. Weekend update. I gave it B minus. Yeah, it was in the A range for me. Um, B plus. Oh, best joke of the night. Best written joke I've heard on Weekend Scout. Girl Scout Cookies. Yes, that you was You can have them mailed directly to prison. Whoever wrote, I want to know who wrote that. that if anyone probably finds Colin out, because he tweet us. smiled too much. I don't know. Michael Michael read it. If Colin writes a joke that much with that much gold behind it, I'm reading it. Like if I'm Colin, I'm reading yeah, it. That's I'm not letting true. Michael take the heat. Yeah, that was that was the best lineup. Best of the written night. joke I've heard on Weekend Update. That was, in a while, yeah, that was, was the best joke Girl on Scout the cookies. Weekend Update. That's like that's tweetable. It's under 140 characters. Oh, it's perfect. Uh, okay, we gotta get moving here. Overly full brain. What would you guys think of the sketch? Boy, toy I thought this one was pretty <laughs> funny. Really? It was because it's seriously true. All the useless crap. Yeah, you like have why in your the brain. hell do I need to know the word rhombus? Yeah, I was just <laughs> and the Savage Garden and, yeah, like, the, yes. <laughs> and the bye 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 dance. Like why? That was ten years ago. Yeah, I I wish they would have brought every character that disappeared out of his brain back in. Like because Taryn came back twice. That was his first time in a sketch coming twice. Coming twice with the, full, two different costumes. What you I said. That. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh my gosh, Kelly. But, oh. Uh, but, but, I, I really appreciate that, and I wish we could have seen a little more of that. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. And I loved Kate as Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, that was funny. That was <laughs> just brief, but great. Yeah. Just a little bit. It was for for three and a half seconds. Yeah. So. And Jay as, Will, as 90s Will Smith, always. I know. Who, like, seriously, people that weren't even around when Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was know on. Know the song. Know the song. It comes up in clubs. Everyone it does it at karaoke, karaoke just like yeah. they said. That was like seriously what my brain consists of as well. And the Nicki Minaj thing is just really relevant. When she turned, we only know that first part. She's like, I don't know why he watches it so much, and then she turned. And yeah, that was left. funny. That's exactly yeah, why. I good. thought that was funny. I don't think it was necessary to pull out to him at the end. With his, I thought that was funny. Who I said that he looks wait. a little bit like a creeper? I, oh, Frankie. I did not say anything mean about but anyone. Like, with Pete, <laughs> Pete <laughs> Davidson, when he kind of he he's yeah, a little he bit of an over actor. I think he's getting I, better. I, I like him though. I need I, you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to no, do it. I it. let me see if I can find this. My friend put my face on Nicki yes. Minaj. Okay, while we're talking, oh, I'm gonna what, find it. That? Yeah. We, we can can you tweet about. it? We'll, we'll I'm gonna check. tweet. Yeah, I'll find it and I'll tweet it after this. What's your Twitter right now? X O X O C E S C A. 
Like XOXO Cheska. Cheska, but no H. So that's why I never say Cheska because people well, you always say do. Cheska. <laughs> it's Cheska because it's yeah, Italian, but there's no H in it. <laughs> okay, uh, the Kid Mayor Recall. What do you guys think uh, of this? Stage? The best part is when he breaks in the middle of it. That's the, that is by far the best part. Yeah. That's why I like it so much. Because it's so stupid talking about throwing your poo <laughs> the pan poo pants in the woods. In the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's Franco probably funny. wrote uh, a majority of this. I would guess. I don't think he did. I just thought they, really. Yeah. I, I don't, don't think he just read it. I think he just read it. That's why he laughed because he wouldn't. I feel like he if he wrote it. Okay. Honest question. I know that they play pranks on each other in SNL all the time. I almost think the reason he laughed was because they threw that line in and didn't tell him. Everything else was rehearsed. Maybe. Maybe. Added this. That's Could what be. Mulaney does to Stefan. All the time. Yeah. Wait, and what? that's why Stefan always is cracking up yeah. because there's always an extra joke. Well, here's why. It was an unnecessary add-on to the joke because he said, when I did it last year, and then he adds the second part, it was an unnecessary add-on to the joke, so I think it was a prank. Maybe. I think Could that's why he broke. And it worked. I mean, we'll never know, You're but so this smart. is my opinion. Mm-hmm. I thought it was silly. Like I, I liked it. I just like how angry James Franco and just stupid anger. Hitfix.com yeah. said this was the best sketch of the night. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry. I was totally zoning throughout this skit. She's looking for the picture. No, like, but when we were watching <laughs> oh, it, sketch. I totally zoned through the skit, so I have no comment. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Nobody's getting mad at you. After this, you go back to the street. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never see me again. You're peeking <laughs> as we speak. Oh shoot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sunseeker Yakets. I love. I love it. it. Skit, okay, so anytime sketch. a show, I, this is. If you ask me, what's your favorite sketch for SNL to end on? It's this sketch. It's awesome. It. This was my this favorite one of really? that one. I think though, just because I love the beginning, getting blasted in the face. <laughs> it <laughs> has a lot of good lines. Yeah. For sure. the, the tight anus one was funny. That uh, was so. Good. I didn't hear that the first time. I heard it when I was watching it with you guys. Yeah, so that good. and the portholes joke. Um, they were pretty clever. The foot and the butt thing was even Seth funny. Rogen mm-hmm. introducing himself as James Franco. That was probably the funniest part for me. Yeah. 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 That was great. I, I, give, I give the whole... I'm going to go ahead with the whole... Well, we have one more song, don't we? Before we do this. Let's do the, the last song, the second song by Nicki Minaj in her full thong goodness. Whoa. I'm wearing that one she day. She fabulous. Yeah. Right. I'm Stir and I right are going to get matching ones, just different colors. And I, we're going to have you matching You won't come in and, and do implants. a guest on SNL with that, will you? We you should. will? Right yeah. there on the couch? Yeah. yeah. Signed and sealed. You heard mm-hmm. it here. It's happening. <laughs> I just got to wait till after the holidays, you know, work off those pounds. You know? um, in this song, I don't think I had heard all the lyrics, but she gets really revealing in this song. She Talk does. About, is it an abortion or is it a miscarriage? Well, I did a, an extensive amount of research after I watched it. And it, <laughs> in the articles that I read, it said she either had a miscarriage or an abortion. She's never confirmed mm-hmm. either. But it was with the guy who was her long-term boyfriend who proposed Aaron. about 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And then the Kaya is her, is her little brother and he would be the same age as her kid so that's why she was saying he'd be almost so 16 it's kind now. of like and it's kind of like kaya's like both and she's like i can see him in yeah and he, she's okay. like i want him to go to college and wow. you know what i appreciate when artists reveal personal stuff like that because you always say relatability equals ratings and for mm-hmm. me that makes me like nikki more yeah right. and especially because she's kind of got this fake quality about her like yeah just she was, her she image was and that. everything and but this kind of brings her back to like exactly. she's real she's yeah. a person to you know you know Absolutely. And like I said, I liked how just how it was just her, just stri- like stripped, just her well, rapping. She was literally sh- yeah. pretty much stripped. In both ways. In both ways. Yeah. Um, only as one of and my favorite songs holes. right now. Mm-hmm. Oh my with, but I like the Drake and Lil Wayne verses better. Than yeah, I, I wish they would have came out. That, that's Chris Brown that saying the hook, right? I had no, it for like a, a month. <laughs> um, I'll think of it in a second. Try songs? No, Your but boy. I wish it was. Um, all right, so overall, I'm going to be honest. I'm giving this whole entire episode an A-. minus. This was in the A range for me. I loved the whole episode. Mm-hmm. Guys? B plus. I would yeah, I would say a high B, high B plus. Yeah, I think I did B plus actually. But yeah, it was my favorite one I think of the ep- season so far. All right. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. Well, next week we have uh, we have Martin Freeman and it's Charlie XCX. But did you hear the announcer said XXXCX? Yeah. Did you guys hear yeah, this? It was like a mess up. Damn Daryl Hammond, get it together. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, can we do predictions real quick? Predictions. Yeah, we're gonna predict. Okay. You're after Wait, Even though you guys don't know I'm who Martin for... Freeman is, there's gonna yeah, be is... there's gonna be a Hobbit uh, parody probably. There's gonna be a Hobbit parody. He's and in I the think, Hobbit. I think there will be a Fargo parody. <laughs> oh, that'd be actually better. I just started I... watching Fargo. Yeah, me too. I forgot. I 
I'm halfway through. As now. Lester Nygaard. Yeah. Yes, I think there will be a Fargo parody because the show is fantastic and it's slowly building. It's kind of like Breaking Bad. It's slowly building its acclaim and mm-hmm. people are starting to catch on to its fantasticness. Uh, so I think this will forefront. This will push that show into the forefront. And obviously, Charlie XCX is super huge everywhere with the boom clap boom, song. Clap. So she'll do that, but I don't know what other song. Will she? Like because song? Nikki didn't do Anaconda. <gasps> yeah, but Charlie doesn't yeah, have. Nikki, yeah, yeah, but Nicki Minaj has like the same. And her album's song. gonna be dropping, so of course she Hi. has. To. Maybe they'll try Charlie, it. what's her face, has a lot of songs. Well, she not as with as featured much on a lot of songs, I guess. She could do all of her featured. Songs. Francesca. Yes. Sterling. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys take the predictions. Yeah. I don't really know what to expect. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Oh, anytime. Yeah, for real. It was great. You guys are awesome. This was this so is a sweet little, We miss you, Roy and Keaton. Yeah. But we found some good backups. You guys stepped up to the plate. Yes. Hit home runs in here. Yes. <laughs> I just posted that uh, Nicki Minaj with my face. Where? Where, where, where can on we Twitter, find On Twitter. On Twitter. XOXOCESEA. So... Is that Twitter and Instagram? Twitter and Instagram. All right. And Kelly, where can we find you? Uh, Holly Weirdo <laughs> at Twitter and Instagram. Holly Weirdo. Mm-hmm. That's good. You got That's a good handle to get, by the way. They didn't have Kelly McInerney. Huh? <laughs> Sterling, where can we find you? And I'm uh, at Sterling Cates. Sorry, I'm really distracted. <laughs> it's a great picture, you guys. guys you got to check it out. Twitter and Instagram. You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Very Danny funny. Hoyt, D-A-N-N-Y-H-O-Y-T for Kelly Cheska Sterling. And uh, Marissa in the back, who's hanging out with us. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week it's on Sean. After Buzz. And Sean in the back. Oh, Sean? Sean. How dare you? I'm so sorry, Sean. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Bye. <laughs> Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. And so I think they are missing a little bit. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so first guest, Anthony Crispino. I would try to do the high pitch <laughs> note if I could, but I can't get that high. <laughs> <laughs> that probably hurts everyone. Can you do it, Kelly? What is it again? The high pitch note when he's like, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's better than all of ours. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, I like, we're like, what was he looking at? Yeah, he, well, he always like gets back and like looks to make sure nobody's watching. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. And the I, the Bing Crosby <laughs> joke. Best joke. Oh, oh, my so, God. And he looked hilarious. there for a while. Like, Best right? joke. He's a, so, a rapist? He's a, ra- he's a, <laughs> he's a rapist. He's a rapist. Or a rapist. Or whatever the kids are saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one. Oh, Bing Crosby did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we got Leslie Jones. You guys like Leslie Jones? That yeah. was pretty yes. funny. I think mm-hmm. she's hilarious. That was funny. Uh, a little bit. I, I like her consistent stabbing at, at Colin when she calls him like her peppermint patty and stuff yeah. like that. And I'll but put, it, like, I'll, let me be the chocolate. <laughs> let me be the chocolate on your peppermint patty and all this stuff. Ooh. What? Ooh. <laughs> What's that? I'm just just doing the sound effects. Oh, can you? The pew, 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 pew. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one, uh, the overly full brain. Well, what are you guys gonna grade? Weekend update. That, it was one of my oh, favorites in a uh, while. Yeah, hey, uh, B plus. You've got about Kim as Nikki. By the oh way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Kim as Kim as Nikki. It was basically just Nicki, Nicki Minaj Kim, yeah. talking yeah. about something. Was really <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do my high pitch like <laughs> the the Anthony the Crispino guy, from yeah. Me. Yeah. I can't get that high. I lost. My, I've been. No, I think it's been yeah, a long day I for think. me. Uh, all right, well let's move on to the next sketch because this is also topical. The Peter Pan Live. What did you guys think of this sketch? Well, you know what? I didn't see the. I didn't I see it either. But I was yeah. in San Antonio this weekend. Yeah, I well, watched, everything I read about it, it seemed pretty spot on with yeah. what people were tweeting. Yeah, I watched like ten minutes and got bored of it. Really? So wait, it tell me really what people boring. were tweeting or like what? Yeah, fill people us in. were making fun of Christopher Walken and basically, like they said in the skit, that he was just saying random yeah. lines, like wasn't really participating, <laughs> and the people behind him were carrying all the weight, is what they were saying, mm-hmm. doing all the singing. Okay, and dancing, so that's and why the guys said. So that's why he said that. We like yeah. to dance and sing. Well, you yeah. basically just say lines. Yeah, whatever that's this exactly what. Okay. And then the other thing people were talking about is how they always get a girl to play Peter Pan, and they obviously address that here, um, too. Yeah. And a lot of tweets were like, they'd still do Allison Williams, even though she looked like a boy. 
Uh, that's some yeah. of my friends. I'm, yeah. a fan of I'm a fan but, of Allison Williams. No, yeah, I'm a fan but, of that whole family. Did you guys see Brian, her dad, on Jimmy Fallon? No. When they slow jam the news and it ended with Brian Williams giving a shout out to his daughter. She's like, he's like, he said something like, I'm going to see her fly on Thursday night. Oh, yeah. It was like a shout out. It was really cool. I, I just appreciate that family. I think they're talented. Proud dad. People. Proud papa. Proud papa. Uh, I think the 80 Bryant always kills. This is, I believe, mm-hmm. only the second time she's done this. This half mosquito, half fly character. Yeah. Is this correct? That was what? funny. That's exactly yeah, why. I good. thought that was funny. I don't think it was necessary to pull out to him at the end. With his, I thought that was funny. Who I said that he looks wait. a little bit like a creeper? I, oh, Frankie. I did not say anything mean about but anyone. Like, with Pete, Pete <laughs> nope. Davidson, when he kind of did, he, he's yeah, a little he bit of an over creepy. actor. I think he's getting I, better. I, I like him, though. I need, I, you guys, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to no, do it. I Let me see if I can find this. My friend put my face on... Nicki yes. Minaj. Okay, while we're talking, oh, I'm gonna find it. Yeah. We, we can. Can you tweet it? We'll. we'll I'm gonna check. tweet. Yeah, I'll find it and I'll tweet it after this. What's your so you Twitter guys, right now? X O X O C E S C A. Like X O X O Cheska. Cheska, but no H. So that's why I never say Cheska because people. You say do. Seska. <laughs> it's Cheska because it's yeah, Italian, but there's no H in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the Kid Mayor Recall. What did you guys think uh, of this? Stage? The best part is when he breaks in the middle of it. That's the, that is by far the best part. Yeah. That's why I like it so much. Because it's so stupid talking about throwing your poo <laughs> the pan poo pants in the woods. In the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's Franco probably funny. wrote uh, a majority of this. I would guess. I don't think he did. I just thought that really. He, yeah. I, I don't, don't think he just read it. I think he just read it. That's why he laughed because he wouldn't. I feel like he, if he wrote it. Okay. Honest question. I know that they play pranks on each other in SNL all the time. I almost think the reason he laughed was because they threw that line in and didn't tell him. Everything else was rehearsed. Maybe. Maybe. Added this. That's Could what be. Mulaney does to Stefan. All the time. Yeah. Wait, and what? that's why Stefan always is cracking up yeah. because there's always an extra joke. Well, here's why. It was an unnecessary add-on to the joke. Close up on whatever. It was like one mm-hmm. awkward laugh. Yeah. Unnoticed. Well, and the big thing, and I saw this written online as well, is that this will this will really set their hosting apart from other co-hosts that have hosted Weekend Update because they can do this yeah. and nobody else has been able to mm-hmm. to this level. Right. Because this is such a prevalent thing and race is such a prevalent thing in the news, I think it's good for SNL. It's going to take them uh, a step forward, I think, and put them in the forefront of news again in, mm-hmm. in that, you know, that niche of the news that they haven't really been in. Yeah. yeah. So I keep saying this, but this is my favorite like at update co-hosts for a while really well, that's because i didn't like seth meyers at all wow. really yeah i can't stand seth meyers but wow. i just i've never been excited for a weekend update since like amy and him you know amy and seth yeah so and seth was on by himself for like six years or something oh it wasn't that long was it i think so jeez yeah. i didn't realize it was that long i amy and seth was was my favorite pair tina and amy for the win well, yeah, they're well, they're gold no matter what they yeah, do. Yeah. But I think you gotta have a guy and a girl to be to be racially fair, and so I think they are missing a, a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So first guest, Anthony Crispino. I would try to do the high pitch <laughs> note if I could, but I can't get that high. <laughs> <laughs> that probably hurts everyone. Can you do it? Really? <laughs> what is it again? The high pitch note when he's like. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's better than all of ours. I don't know. Yeah, like, I like, where, like, what was he looking at? What? Yeah, he, <laughs> okay, honest question. I know that they play pranks on each other on SNL all the time. I almost think the reason he laughed was because they threw that line in and didn't tell him. Everything else was rehearsed. Maybe, maybe. Added this. That's Could what be. Mulaney does to Stefan. All the time. Yeah. Wait, and what? that's why Stefan always is cracking up yeah. because there's always an extra joke. Well, here's why. It was an unnecessary add-on to the joke because he said, when I did it last year, and then he adds the second part. It was an unnecessary add on to the joke, so I think it was a prank. Maybe. I think that's why him. he broke. And it worked. I mean, we'll never know, You're but so this smart. is my opinion. Mm-hmm. I thought it was silly. Like, I, I liked it. I just like how angry James Franco and just stupid anger. Hitfix.com yeah. said this was the best sketch of the night. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry. I was totally zoning throughout this skit. She's looking for the picture. No, like, but when we were watching <laughs> oh, it, sketch. I totally zoned through the skit, so I have no comment. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> Nobody's getting mad at you. After this, you go back to the street. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all never see me again. You're peeking as we speak. Oh, shoot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sunseeker Yakets. I love I love it. When I love it. Okay, this so anytime sketch. a show. I, this is. If you ask me what's your favorite sketch for SNL to end on, it's this sketch. It's awesome. It this was my this favorite one of really? that one, I think, though. Just because I love the beginning getting blasted in the face. <laughs> it <laughs> has a lot of good lines. Yeah. For sure. the, the tight anus one was funny. That uh, was so good. I didn't hear that the first time. I heard it when I was watching it with you guys. Yeah, so that good. and the portholes joke. Um, they were pretty clever. The foot and the butt thing was even Seth funny. Seth Rogen mm-hmm. introducing himself as James Franco. That was. 
don't know. I just like how that, he's with how, that same story. Yeah. I liked how they're like now. He's like now. I want to go to jury duty. Like I used yeah, to avoid it because of my sick kids who don't exist. Yeah. I thought the Staten Island part was pretty funny when he was <laughs> talking about how they still huddle together on the boat <laughs> to go to the city. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was probably the funniest part for me. I enjoyed the whole thing. I thought it was tasteful, but I wasn't laughing. You know, like hilarious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you could tell. You could hear the audience too. Wasn't like out loud laughing. Except one yeah. guy. One guy out loud, like way out loud laughed. Yeah, at a really oh, awkward part. It wasn't was a little, it? It was like it was like a transition. It was like when jokes. they went on the co- the um, close up on whatever. It was like one mm-hmm. awkward laugh. Yeah. And well, was... and the big thing, and I saw this written online as well, is that this will this will really set their hosting apart from other co-hosts that have hosted Weekend Update because they can do this yeah. and nobody else has been able to mm-hmm. to this level. Right. Because this is such a prevalent thing and race is such a prevalent thing in the news, I think it's good for SNL. It's going to take them uh, a step forward, I think, and put them in the forefront of news again in, mm-hmm. in that you know that niche of the news that they haven't really been in. Yeah. yeah. So I keep saying this, but this is my favorite like at update co-host for a while really well, that's because i didn't like seth meyers at all wow really? yeah i can't stand seth meyers but i wow. just i've never been excited for a weekend update since like amy and him you know amy and seth yeah so and seth was on by himself for like six years or something oh it wasn't that long was it i think so Jeez, yeah. i didn't realize it was sun seeker yakets i love i love it skit. okay the so anytime a show i this is if you ask me what's your favorite sketch for SNL to end on, it's this sketch. It's awesome. It this was my this favorite one of really? that one, I think, though. Just because I love the beginning, getting blasted in the face. <laughs> they have a lot of good lines, yeah. for sure. the, the tight anus one was funny. That uh, was so good. I didn't hear that the first time. I heard it when I was watching it with you guys. So yeah, that good. and the portholes joke. Um, they were pretty clever. The foot and the butt thing was even Seth funny. Rogen mm-hmm. introducing himself as James Franco. That was probably the funniest part for me. Yeah. 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 That was great. I, I give I give the whole. I'm gonna go ahead with the whole. Well, we have one more song, don't we? Before we do this, let's do the the last song, the second song by Nicki Minaj in her full thong goodness. Well, I'm wearing that one she day. She looks fabulous. Yeah. Right. I'm Stir and I right are gonna now. get matching ones, just different colors, and I, we're gonna have matching shot. injections. You won't come in and, and do implants. a guest on SNL with that, will you? We you should. will. Right yeah. there on the couch? Yeah. yeah. Signed and sealed. You heard mm-hmm. it here. It's happening. <laughs> I just got to wait till after the holidays, you know, work off those pounds. You know? um, in this song, I don't think I had heard all the lyrics, but she gets really revealing in this song. She Talk does. About, is it an abortion or is it a miscarriage? Well, I did a, an extensive amount of research after I watched it. And it, <laughs> in the articles that I read, it said she either had a miscarriage or an abortion. She's never confirmed mm-hmm. either. But it was with the guy who was her long-term boyfriend who proposed Aaron. about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Kaya is her, is her little brother. The tight anus one was funny. That ah. was so good. I didn't hear that the first time. I heard it when I was watching it with you guys. Yeah, so that good. and the portholes joke. Um, they were pretty clever. The foot and the butt thing was even Seth funny. Rogen mm-hmm. introducing himself as James Franco. That was probably the funniest part for me. Yeah. 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 That was great. I, I, give, I give the whole, I'm going to go ahead with the whole, well, we have one more song, don't we? Before we do this, let's do the the last song, the second song by Nicki Minaj in her full thong goodness. Whoa. I'm wearing that one she day. She fabulous. Yeah. Right. I'm Stir and I right are going to get matching ones, just different colors. And I, we're going to have you matching You won't come in and, and do implants. a guest on SNL with that, will you? We you should. will? Right yeah. there on the couch? Yeah. yeah. Signed and sealed. You heard mm-hmm. it here. It's happening. <laughs> I just got to wait till after the holidays, you know, work off those... Pounds, you know? um, in this song, I don't think I had heard all the lyrics, but she gets really revealing in this song. She Talk does. About, is it an abortion or is it a miscarriage? Well, I did a, an extensive amount of research after I watched it. And <laughs> it, in the articles that I read, it said she either had a miscarriage or an abortion. She's never confirmed mm-hmm. either. But it was with the guy who was her long-term boyfriend who proposed Aaron. about 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And then the Kaya is her, is her little brother, and he would be the same age as her kid. So that's why she was saying he'd be almost so. It's kind of like and it's kind of like Kaya's like both. And she's like, I can see him in. Yeah, and she's like, I want him to go to college. And you know what? I appreciate when artists reveal personal stuff like that because you always say relatability equals ratings, and for Mm -hmm. me, that makes me like Nikki more. Yeah, and especially because she's kind of got the Pineapple Express. It reminded me of on the Halloween episode when they had the faces in the trees, and they went into the. Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Do you guys? Did you guys see the Halloween episode? It's all right. You're probably on the street. Uh, when they were, <laughs> I don't have to be on the before you picked us up. <laughs> uh, but they were going through like the forest and there were faces inside of the trees. It kind of reminded me of that. The same, same thing, though. There was like a riddle and it didn't all the way Hit compute. All, yeah. Yeah. Do not kind compute. Of. All right. Well. <laughs> 
Thank uh, you. I, I, I think that was my second favorite skit of the night, though. Seriously? Oh. All right. Or yeah. like second or third. It was up there. It was in the top ones for me. Yeah, I just don't. I mean, guys, the guys making out will always be semi funny, but it's not as funny as it used to be. Mm-hmm. Oh. Because they kind of mm-hmm. kill it a lot, especially with that family that always makes out with each other. Yeah, it's they kind of knew been what done. they what the people like, and they just kind of right. Or they have the, the last death. call sketch at the end where they awkwardly. It's not guys; it's a guy and a girl, but it's where it's yeah. always an awkward makeup. Kate McKinnon. Yeah. Um, so we're on to Nicki Minaj song one. Yeah. Yeah, I Woo! loved it. You guys love Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I didn't have the strong opinion of it. I love that song. Wait, was this only? The bed one. No, that this is a Skylar Gray one. What's yeah. the other one? Who sounds, by the way, like Melissa Etheridge. Mm. With the little breathy end note. Yeah, I said she this does, when we were she does, Yeah, she does have I do it, but I would sound Just nothing. Just do it. Just do it. Try it. Like, yeah, like, I don't remember. What's the line from the song? I'll sing it. Um, what's the line that she ends on? I was singing it earlier. Bed of... I thought it was silly. Like, I, I liked it. I just like how angry James Franco and just... Stupid anger. Hitfix.com yeah. said this was the best sketch of the night. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so sorry. I was totally zoning throughout this skit. She's looking for the picture. No, like, but when we were watching <laughs> oh, it, I totally zoned through the skit, so I have no comment. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Nobody's getting mad at you. After this, you go back to the street, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never see me again. You're peeking as we speak. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sunseeker Yakets. I love I love the skit. Okay, so anytime a show. I, this is. If you ask me what's your favorite sketch for SNL to end on, it's this sketch. It's awesome. It this was my this favorite one of really? that one, I think, though. Just because I love the beginning, getting blasted in the face. <laughs> it <laughs> has a lot of good lines, yeah. for sure. The, the tight anus one was funny. That uh, was so good. I didn't hear that the first time. I heard it when I was watching it with you guys. Yeah, so that good. and the portholes joke. Um, they were pretty clever. The foot and the butt thing was even Seth funny. Rogen mm-hmm. introducing himself as James Franco. That was probably the funniest part for me. Yeah. 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 That was great. I, I give I give the whole. I'm gonna go ahead with the whole. Well, we have one more song, don't we? Before we do this, let's do the the last song, the second song by Nicki Minaj in her full thong goodness. Well, I'm wearing that one she day. She looks fabulous. Yeah. Right. I'm Stir and I are right gonna now. get matching ones, just different colors, and I, we're gonna and host matching You won't come in and, and do implants. a guest on SNL with that, will you? We you should. will. Right yeah. there on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Signed and sealed. You heard mm-hmm. it here. It's happening. <laughs> I just gotta wait till H in it. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> the kid mayor recall. What did you guys think uh, of this? Stage? The best part is when he breaks in the middle of it. That's the, that is by far the best part. Yeah. That's why I like it so much. Because it's so stupid talking about throwing your poo <laughs> the pan poo pants in the woods. In the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's Franco probably funny. wrote uh, a majority of this. I would guess. I don't think he did. I just thought think, really. Yeah. I, I don't, don't think he just read it. I think he just read it. That's why he laughed because he wouldn't. I feel like he, if he wrote it. Okay, honest question. I know that they play pranks on each other in SNL all the time. I almost think the reason he laughed was because they threw that line in and didn't tell him. Everything else was rehearsed. Maybe, maybe. This. That's could what be. Mulaney does to Stefan. All the time. Yeah. Wait, and what? that's why Stefan always is cracking up yeah. because there's always an extra joke. Well, here's why. It was an unnecessary add-on to the joke because he said, when I did it last year, and then he adds the second part, it was an unnecessary add-on to the joke. So I think it was a prank. Maybe. I think that's why he broke. And it worked. I mean, we'll never know, but so this smart. is my opinion. Mm-hmm. I thought it was silly. Like I, I liked it. I just like how angry James Franco and just stupid anger. Hitfix.com said this was the best sketch of the night. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so sorry. I was totally zoning throughout this skit. She's looking for the picture. No, like, but when we were watching (laughs) it, I totally zoned through the skit, so I have no comment. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Nobody's getting mad at you. After this, you go back to the street, so it's okay. (laughs) Y'all never see me again. You're peeking as we speak. (laughs) Oh shoot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sunseeker Yakets. I love. I, love, I loved it. Skit. Okay, the so anytime sketch. a show, I this is <laughs> okay. Uh, the kid mayor recall. What do you guys think uh, of this? Sketch? The best part is when he breaks in the middle of it. That's the, that is by far the best part. Yeah. That's why I like it so much. Because it's so stupid talking about throwing your poo <laughs> the pan poo pants in the woods. In the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I think That's Franco probably funny. wrote uh, a majority of this. I would guess. I don't think he did. I just thought. Think, really? Yeah. I, I don't, don't think he just read it. I think he just read it. That's why he laughed because he wouldn't. I feel like he, if he wrote it. Okay. Honest question. I know that they play pranks on each other in SNL all the time. I almost think the reason he laughed was because they threw that line in and didn't tell him. Everything else was rehearsed. Maybe, maybe. This. That's could what be. Mulaney does to Stefan. All the time. Yeah. Wait, and what? that's why Stefan always is cracking up yeah. because there's always an extra joke. Well, here's why. It was an unnecessary add-on to the joke because he said, when I did it last year, and then he adds the second part, it was an unnecessary add-on to the joke, so I think it was a prank. Maybe. I think could that's why in. he broke. And it worked. I mean, we'll never know, You're but so this smart. is my opinion. Mm-hmm. 
I thought it was silly. Like I, I liked it. I just like how angry James Franco and just stupid anger. Hitfix.com said this was the best sketch of the night. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so sorry. I was totally zoning throughout this skit. She's looking for the picture. No, like, but when we were watching (laughs) it, I totally zoned through the skit, so I have no comment. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. Nobody's getting mad at you. After this, you go back to the street, so it's okay. (laughs) Y'all never see me again. You're peeking (laughs) as we speak. Oh, shoot. I'm just kidding. Uh, Sunseeker Yakets. I love love when they do the skit. Okay, so anytime a show... This is... If you ask me, 